We need fresh material ASAP. Best places to get caught in the rain. Okay. You should have your own podcast. She doesn't even credit you, and you write the whole dang show. Thank you, Serena. Of course, Cassie. Thank you for making Love's Listening the number one romance podcast in America. Really? A relationship guru? I've known you long enough to expect healthy skepticism, but this is a scoop. This is Jack Whitman. Are we confirmed or not? Yes, we're confirmed. Hello? What does he know about this reporter I'm meeting tomorrow? He does super insightful profiles. <gasps> this stupid facial! We have to push the interview. Take one of my gift baskets. Keep him occupied. I wanted to apologize. That's nice, some eyelash curler. Do you curl your lashes? I don't think people can actually change with romantic advice. I happen to be living romance. Is that so bad? No, it's just not realistic. How about I take you to the places where Serena gets her inspiration? I've listened to a couple episodes. There's real heart to the content. You're so encouraging. But he doesn't know it's my writing. I'm sure she's very charming, but you're there to profile Serena. The insights on the show feel so down to earth. There's sort of a disconnect between the words and the voice. Serena, just small town girl trying to help mend one broken heart at a time. Tonight, we get to see some of the most fascinating voices in audio. You look, wow. It's been me the whole time, Jack. It's been my words, my advice. I've been lying since the beginning. Abby! I'm Abby Roy, and this is New Perspective. Hi, caller. I may have lost the shot with someone truly special. Take her to the most romantic spot and tell her how you feel.